Hello everybody, good morning and greetings from the 2021 Florida RV Super Show in Tampa and today once again we're gonna meet the hike in my RV, yeah. well, in, well to meet the hike here we have Adam from Winnebago and he's gonna uh, show us the, the highlights of the hike who the hike is for and uh, I, I know this is a product you're very proud of so yes. uh, yeah yeah so good to be back with you Good to catch up. Uh, we're here at 2021 Florida RV Super Show in Tampa. Uh, we've got all five uh, hike models on display. We're going to focus on the 172 BH. Uh, this seems to be one of our most popular, kind of family friendly. Uh, you know, the hike was built for kind of beyond the beaten path. Uh, people who want to go to non-traditional campgrounds, they want to do maybe non-traditional camping, active outdoor lifestyle. Uh, you know, first and foremost, you've got the 15 inch uh, all-terrain off-road tires with the four and a half inch axle lift kit. They are a Dexter torsion axle. Um, so that, that helps get that trailer lifted off the ground. Uh, better ground clearance if you are going off the beaten path a little bit. Uh, as you scan underneath there, you can see for 2021, uh, where we've added a spare tire up underneath there. Uh, that was some direct feedback from customers. Um, Obviously, you can see uh, beautiful white exterior, very sleek uh, graphic styling, very modern, kind of that hike, you know, that, that active outdoor lifestyle uh, theme there, the big, bold Winnebago branding that we're so proud of at Winnebago, uh, our patented exoskeleton. Uh, we've got this powder-coated steel exoskeleton. Yeah, tell, uh, tell me a little, more, uh, a little more about that exoskeleton. That's really cool. So what the exoskeleton allows us to do is it allows us to, uh, a customer to put like a Thule or Yakima uh, rack assess uh, accessories on there. And if we actually swing around, Robert, uh, back here on this hike, you can see we've got two Thule racks up there that just attach kayaks, very easy. On the 215HS here, if you swing around, you can see we've got an extra luggage carrier attached right to it. So we were very intentional with the design and the size of this, so that way you don't have to do any modifications. You can just buy those Thule or Yakima uh, accessories and secure directly to there. We've also got the Nerf bars here that are integrated into the frame so if you wanted to do any vertical type storage with a smaller kayak or surfboard or paddleboard. So we're very, very proud and very excited about what this trailer can do and offer for people who want to do some non-traditional type camping. Yeah, more, more of the active lifestyle kind of thing. Correct, correct. Right. So then as we go inside, you know, we, we, we dabbled our toes in uh, this European type styling um, a couple years ago when we debuted the hike and dealers were saying we want more. We took it to a couple owners rallies and customers said we wanted more. And so, you know, this type of customer, they still, they may be that little bit more rugged nomad or active outdoor lifestyle, but they still appreciate the finer things. So we're going to go inside. We've got woven type marine grade flooring. We'll just kind of head in here and look at it. Oh, let me turn the, turn the volume down in here. There we go. All right. So come on in. Uh, so very light feel in here um, because you're in a small space. You know, the width of this is six and a half, about six and a half feet wide. All hikes range from just over 20 feet to about 25 feet. So when you're in a small space, you want it to be bright, make it seem bigger. So we've got the light color wallboard, light color top, countertops. We've got light, you know, that marine grade type flooring, lighter type uh, furniture. Cabinets are very light. So again, that Cumberland or Catania oak. And so we're just really trying to make it bright in here. And you can see in a small space, we're really trying to maximize storage. So we went with a full overlay cabinet design versus having styles or dead panels. So we can maximize as much storage as possible. Access to it under the U dinette, growing cabinets as tall as we can to again, m maximize the amount of storage that we have here. We've also, had an emphasis on some technology. So we've got, you know, wireless cell phone charger that you can plug right in. And there it goes, it pops right up. Yeah. Wi-Fi prep. Um, in, in past years, we had solar prep. Now we're offering part of our kind of giving you more for this year. We have 
solar, 100 watt solar panel direct from the factory with a charge controller. You can add up to a couple hundred more watts of solar. If you want to pigtail be, you know, more than that on there, then you have to do, you will have to upgrade the charge controller. That's just a 30 amp charge controller. Uh, we've given you more, you know, cause people are going to want to do some extended we season. Okay. We do 12 volt tank pad heaters. So flip that on and then you've got heat. So you've got the enclosed underbelly to protect so everything. Would this be considered three season or? This would be considered, yeah. We don't promote anything as really true right. four season. I mean, you just, you really expose yourself to a lot of, you know, potential risks. So we're, we're all about offering extended season. So yeah. fully enclosed yeah. underbelly to protect everything, to keep it, you know, from the rigors of the road. Mm -hmm. uh, but then also offering the tank pad heaters to keep your holding tanks. You know, we do, as part of our comfort tech package, we do offer that radiant technology, so mm -hmm. it will reflect. So normally, when it should not it should be warmer in Tampa, <laughs> you, you reflect the sun's UV rays, so it helps keep it cool in here. We line the underbelly as well with that, uh, that, that uh, foil technology, so it helps absorb heat. That's part of our comfort tech package. Um, as you come back here, you can see some of the upgrade amenities. Uh, we went to some of those touch points, you know, this, this new COVID camper and consumer, it's all about the touch points. So high mount, pull down uh, faucet, more of a residential undermount style sink, where then you can have additional countertop space here. Went with the larger 1.1 uh, cubic foot convection microwave with stainless steel kind of appointments. Mm -hmm. One thing that's really cool is we have these it's a it's a it's a matte finish now, uh, and it's a gunmetal gray matte finish, but it's a crank style door. You see here, you've got a 45 degree angle, very European. The, everything's very sleek and linear in here. But then this becomes your actual grab handle here. You can see we've got the heavy hinges here that will just hold every hold up on your own, so it's easier to get your items in and out. The focus is going to be uh, on the hike is going to be on dry bass. We understand the consumer in this segment, in this price point or this, this use, is not particularly liking the wet bath where your shower and toilet are all in one. Right. So our engineering team did a very good job of, you know, in this size and space, but giving maximum space inside a smaller bathroom. You can also see, we get a lot of consumers, you know, if they're vertically challenged, they always say, well, you're 6'2", did you design this? You know, the medicine cabinet's so high, so we got that full length mirror. My so my wife will be very happy about that. <laughs> I know, I, you know, 10 years into this and I hear it and I hear it. It's like, all right guys, let's get a bigger mirror in there. Yeah. <laughs> but also one thing is you notice the, the intentional placement of the medicine cabinet. If you think about most RVs, your medicine cabinet that the mirror is built into is directly above the sink and it becomes a head knocker. Mm -hmm. Or you just don't have, you know, the, the women don't have a place for their hair dryer or curling iron. So we've got good countertop space good area for the, the prepping and getting ready. And then as we said, this is the 172 BH. So this will be the bunk bed model here. We've got double over double bunks. We've got ample lighting, USB charge ports, 110 outlets, all in the rear here. Again, uh, everybody's got to be plugged in. You can't, oh, yeah. you can't, you can't unplug from the world anymore. You have to have USB ports everywhere, man. That's, yes. that's, the, that's the way it is these days. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, and I see. I, I see. You, you could have a, easily a family of four here, and if you're lazy like me and you don't want to own the like, converted dinette, you can sleep in the back still. And uh, absolutely right. We and we actually. So this this is our number one selling model so far in the hike, and it's not just families. You know, people who are enjoying the active outdoor lifestyle gear, not just attaching items to the outside, but these bunks become great spots for pets. You know, people traveling with bigger dogs, but also additional gear storage. You might have, some of the times this active outdoor lifestyle gear can be very expensive and you just don't particularly want them on the outside. So you put stuff on the inside. Um, you know, a couple other things on this is, you know, you're, you've got an outside kitchen and it's off of the, on the actual camp side. Sometimes in a lot of these small teardrop trailers, people have to integrate the, the outdoor kitchen into the rear. So we've got it on that camp side where you can enjoy. Yeah, and here you have, well, that's a pretty decent sized drawer there. Oh, and there's a drawer on top. I thought this was going to be like one of those uh, pull-out, uh, that's, that's good. This is a very low profile uh, range, yeah. let me tell you. That's cool. And this is pantry space here? Yep, pantry space. 
And that's like elbow deep. That's really, and you can convert it into a, a hanging Correct. closet, I see. Removable okay. shelves here, and then you can rec hanging space, so dual purpose. Um, you know, one thing I, I did forget to mention on the outside, we were talking about everything that you can attach to the kayak rack, but this also has an integrated two inch receiver, 150 pounds for accessories. Okay. So, you know, like on one of the units over there, we've got a luggage rack that we have kind of displayed to show, you know, some ideas. We have bikes attached to the one up there. So again, it's just trying to show them, you know, the, this new consumer, we're just trying to show them the different uses that they can use. It's not just, hey, I'm going to go take my RV and go sit in a campground. You can go dry camping and, and, and you can go boondocking and you can go enjoy that active outdoor lifestyle. Oh, that, that's, that's, uh, that's very thoughtful that you can put uh, now like a bicycle rack on the back of, uh, of the trailer. Let's go check let's that out. Let's see that. Let's go check that out. Let's see the, the outdoor kitchen. Oh, oh there it is. Okay, so there it is. Uh, Kind of holds it up. We got that nice thick core baggage door, the slam latch with the magnets built in. Slide it out. You can lock it in place. Both sides. And now I've got running water, hot and cold. Two burner propane, but I've got I've got my wind blockers here. So you can cook and enjoy right near the awning. And then the, the bike racks are actually, we have them on display uh, on the back of this 215 right here. Okay, let's it out. All right. yeah. And then the luggage rack that we're showing is right on the back of the 210 right here. Just again, trying to give people different ideas of how they can oh, yeah. store their gear, or bring their gear with them. Definitely, it's, it's, always, it's always good to have options. Uh, Absolutely. And, and, uh, I think you've, you've nailed it with this one, yeah. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Adam. Anything else you want to add? Uh, uh, well, that's pretty much it. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's, always, it's, it's always great uh, yeah. see, seeing you here at these RV shows. And, uh, no, we, it's always fun connecting. We appreciate everything you do and you do for um, our mutual customers and our fan base. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're excited to uh, you know, keep, keep working together and improving products and seeing what we can do to partner more in the future.